Just take a look at this gorgeous bike, the brand new BMW FA50 GS Adventure in its rally trim. Wow, it's very nice and I've been waiting for this bike because I actually I just got from uh, Siberia, I was there on an FA50 GS, you can uh, watch the movie. And uh, there, were, there were some things I, I, I just wanted to have and uh, it was a larger fuel tank, uh, better weather protection, a better comfort, yeah, for those straight roads in Siberia. And this A50 GS Adventure seems to have it all. First of all, you have a 23 liters fuel tank, which is huge. And considering the low fuel consumption, BMW claims that it offers a 550 kilometers range, which is awesome, which is enough for any adventure. No matter where you're going, it will be enough. More than that, the weather protection is far superior compared to the non-adventure model. I mean, you have this uh, extra leg protection because of the fuel tank, of the large fuel tank, we have these wind deflectors on the, the sides and you have this adjustable windscreen. Uh, this is the rally version, so I think this is a rally windscreen and probably BMW will offer a taller windscreen as an option. And this is very good because uh, I also remember when riding the FA50 GS, uh, the standard model, I had some problems with the wind buffeting, with the weather protection, and I, I said that I would need an aftermarket uh, or an, uh, a tall windscreen. Well, I think this is going to be my windscreen. Not this one, the accessory, but you got, uh, you got the idea. Other than that, this is a very tall bike. <laughs> take a look it's very difficult for me to reach the ground so we have what I'm gonna check the standard seat is about 875 millimeters it's a bit high uh, if you choose the original suspension lowering kit you can go to 815 millimeters which is okay but you're gonna have a lower bike and uh, with the low seat you can have 835 millimeters so this is uh, a bike for the tall guys also the suspension comes with a large travel we have 230 millimeters on the front and 210 millimeters on the back a very important thing is the weight because this one is heavier than the standard version I mean it comes with uh, 244 kilos in its wet weight with the 23 liters fuel tank full. So it's about six kilos lighter than the new R1250 GS. And you must consider that when buying this bike. Probably it won't be as nimble as the standard FA50 GS in off-road, but it will offer you a better touring experience. And one more thing, the FA50 GS Adventure now comes with the aluminium luggage set. Uh, you can have an aluminium top box over here and two side cases, probably uh, similar to the one on the R1250 GS Adventure. You know the engine, it comes from the FA50 GS, it's the same inline twin, 95 horsepower. I think it's enough for this bike and I'm really eager to test it. But until now, subscribe to our YouTube channel for similar videos.